Okay, um, well, Jeremy and JP um, coming to you from a beautiful but very hot uh, uh, Sunday afternoon um, on early Sunday afternoon on the 27th of June uh, 2021. And, um, you know, <laughs> we're this time of year we're really sort of almost on call and um, sure enough, uh, JP gave me a call um, this morning uh, saying that we need to get out to um, none such early because um, the long tail cam check it looks he's been doing some activity that looks like he's getting ready to fledge and it's right due about now I was sort of predicting it would be late this weekend or early next week um, depending on how much uh, the male long tail or tropic bird has been feeding him and he was fed a couple of days ago I know um, I don't know if he's been fed this morning but I suspect not because this is normally when the parents are easing off because the chicks have to both lose a bit of weight and finish their conversion of all their fat fat deposits uh, fat reserves into um, muscles and feathers and bone and such and uh, I'll be able to tell quite quickly from the wing cord, if the wing cord is about 265 millimeters um, or more, he's ready to fledge. Um, I have had him fledge 260, 261, but that's rare. Um, if his weight is below, say, about 383, 370, um, then he's ready to fledge. If it's up around 400 grams still, then probably he's still a bit too heavy. Uh, so I'll be able to tell quite quickly and see, but we didn't want to risk uh, the experience uh, last year or the year before when uh, we saw him getting ready to go. We rushed out here and we, as we were coming into the dock, we watched him launch out of the nest and fly right over our heads and out over Castle Harbor and out to sea. Uh, which was great for us. Uh, we got to see the fledge, which is a rare thing. Uh, you can't be here 24-7, but um, it, wasn't, it wasn't any good for being able to show you guys a last look at our check. It brings really a good closure, and I suspect this will be the last check that we do with this check. He, he looks ready to go. Um, his uh, father has done an incredible job of raising this chick essentially on its own. I think the mother disappeared within about two weeks of the chick hatching. So for for almost two months now, a month, you know, about for about seven weeks, um, this male bird has been raising this chick on its own. And that's extremely rare. And most of the times when a parent, uh, one of the parents die, whether it's cacao um, or tropic bird, the chick is doomed to just slowly lose weight to the point where either we take it into care and supplemental feed it or, or take over completely as foster parents or or the chick just never responds back it's it's almost you know in in nature it would almost be a, a sure fatal you know thing but this this bird has defied the odds in every way he's a beautiful vigorous strong healthy um male um has raised several chicks so his experience and has been like well a single dad and um, I'm going to do it and he has done it. I mean, I, I think I said in my last video, definitely deserves father of the year. And uh, yeah, he has beaten the odds. A very unusual thing. So let's take a look at the chick. Okay. I think he knows what's up now. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's to the point now where he doesn't even grip my... Here we... Oh, what a beauty. Yeah. That is a tropic bird that's in beautiful condition and he's hardly dirty at all um, which is good because uh, I always remember pig pen the um, long tail chick we had that was so abominably dirty that he looked brown you know and matted rather than this beautiful satiny pristine white that we've got so let's take him up how you can really tell his his essentially fully mature now is just the length of the tail feathers they're really quite long um, they don't develop the long tail streamers of the adults until they're at least a year or two old. Uh, once they molt out of their their more speckled, um, you know, juvenile plumage. You know, the the adults are pure white, satiny white, with solid black like lines and wingtips across the back, and they they have the same sort of little indent. It's an anti-glare thing um, in front of their eyes. But you can see he's just in beautiful condition. I mean, he feels fairly heavy, but 
it can be hard to tell. All right. So I'm trying to handle him fairly calmly because if he has been fed this morning, which I don't know if he has, I don't want him losing his last meal for a few days probably. Okay, get all my tools of the trade here. All right, so let's take a look at his weight first of all. Wow, <laughs> this bird isn't going today. I don't think we have to worry about that. He's obviously been fed some time this morning. He's still quite heavy, or like ridiculously heavy. Okay, so 500, 400. It looks like uh, 485, so minus the weight of the bags. That's 465. That's almost the heaviest he's ever been. It's... That this male bird just 465 that is just unbelievable at this stage they should be at this point of development slimming down now to about you know 360 380 grams and his 100 grams heavier than that which is great because it means he'll stay a couple extra days he'll grow his wings a little bit longer um, and he'll be that much more ready for sustained flight you know so I'm going to check his wing cord now because who knows maybe it's not Wings aren't as developed as we thought he would, they, he would be, but I suspect they probably are. No, no, yeah, they're not quite right there. They're close, but it's 400 and, no, sorry, 244, 244 millimeters. Yeah, this bird still has a few days to go. 244 they grow at the rate of about four or five millimeters a day um, normally they fledge to see when they reach about 265 270 um, so you know you do you do the math there and I'd say another five days or so you know probably at least and and plus it's got all this extra weight I mean the the father is almost overindulging um, the child now you know it's just you know at some point he has to give up but you know he's a I'll tell you that's an amazing amazing um bird and you know particularly because he's got one broken tail feather here it's just bent a little bit but that's no problem he's got quite a few to spare and I've actually bent it right back and that often happens in the confines of the nest um, cavity um, there are some chicks I see that are in such small nests that literally they've lost almost all their tail. It's just been abraded right off and they still manage to survive. I mean, we have had birds in that condition that have survived at sea and returned to breed. So, um, you know, they, they plainly have some redundancy, you know, in there. They, they leave um, more than we would think. Okay, I'm going to do his bill now and I'll do his tarsus as well just to see. Um, because in, in my experience, the, the legs hardly grow at all past about the two-thirds flood state. But I'm really interested. He's, such a, he's so used to being handled now. He's such a gentle giant, like his father, that um, he almost doesn't mind. Yeah, look at that. It's 43.8 millimeters. 43.8, yeah. Firmly in the male category 43.8 anytime you get a trick at this stage <laughs> at this stage of development with a bill that's more than about 42 42.5 mil it's it's almost certainly going to be a male bird okay his his you know he's not as compliant as he used to be he's, he's very mobile now i'm going to just do one last thing with you matey and that is just to get an idea of his leg length. He's got this heavily poo encrusted uh, band on there, but that'll come right off as soon as this is in the water. So I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's essentially not changed at all. Let's see, 26. Yeah. 26.7 I think yeah 26.7 yeah it's hard to get the exact 
26.7, millimeters. Yeah, so so his legs essentially haven't grown at all in about two weeks. His, they've finished development. They're as big as they're going to be. And we know he's been banded, his band number. He's one of the first ones I banded this year because um, he's one of the older chicks um, from the first cohort. And his band number is uh, C1949. Um, so far, out of my 320 nests that I monitor every year, I've already checked uh, over 200 of them, so I'm past the two-thirds mark, and um, I've already banded uh, about 46 chicks. So that's all those early birds, more or less. Okay, I think his saying is ready to go, but you can see he's just a beautiful chick, fully fully fledged but he's still got like I say about five days more to go I, I'd predict at least uh, 44 yeah about five days um, so by about Friday or so of this week so that's great we have a little bit more time to enjoy him and it'll be really interesting to see how long dad keeps feeding him or does dad finally you know let him slim down a little bit he needs to i mean he's he's too heavy to fly right now he's about 100 grams heavier than he should be but it's great because it it all helps to develop those uh primary flight feathers you know and uh tail feathers great so he's in wonderful shape and uh we will just get him down into his nest and look at those wings i can actually feel the lift from the wings i can feel it that's that's how developed they are. Okay, so um, I've just put back the uh, long tail cam chick and he looks fantastic. He's not quite as advanced as I thought and is a lot heavier. He's 100 grams heavier than he should be. So daddy continues to come through for him on that. Um, but his wing cord uh, shows that he's, he's not really ready for flight yet. And um, I would give it at, at least another five days or so. It might take a little longer. I mean, if if the male bird keeps stuffing him full of food and everything, they, they really can't fledge to see if they're more than about 390 grams or so. 360 to 80 is better. Um, he's like 460, you know, or what is it? It's uh, 465 grams. Yeah, so he's, he's got to shed at least, you know, another uh, 90 to 100 grams of that. So, um, yeah, so I predict probably about Friday, it's, in, in a way it's great because it means that we can continue to watch uh, this, this wonderful little wildlife drama unfold and uh, the saga of this, uh, this single parent uh, family right now. Um, the male has continued to pull through for it. Um, we may even be able to get one last um, check, uh, health check and growth check before it fledges. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, if, if we're able to squeeze in another one, then JP and myself will, will be out there and do that. So everything looks great. Um, can't, you know, couldn't be happier with that. All right. Well, everybody have a great day uh, from uh, JP and Jeremy on Nonsuch Island. Everyone have a, what we call a Bermudaful day. And, uh, um, you know, we'll continue watching and seeing what happens. All the best.